Hi, my name is Frank Valencia. I'm the Director of Advantage Property Consulting and I work as a buyer's and seller's advocate. Well, we're doing a lot of work at the moment in the seller's vendor advocacy area and we're getting many phone calls from clients of ours that have got a portfolio of properties and they're wondering whether they should sell now or whether they should hold off um, and we're getting asked lots of questions about you know, should I be selling in the current market, should I hold off for 6 or 12 months um, and so we're giving people a lot of advice around that. So the general advice we're giving people is at the moment the marketplace uh, we understand and we know where the market is. The, the numbers have definitely dropped off in terms of buyers. Now there's probably one to two buyers interested in the property versus before the coronavirus uh, hit. We probably had five to six buyers on most properties and reserves being smashed by 10 to 20%. So that's not happening anymore. So we've rever reverted back to more of a uh, buyer's market that we saw in that sort of September 2017 to uh, election period in 2019 where uh, the market forces showed uh, that the buyers were more in control as they uh, had lower numbers and therefore the sellers had to negotiate more. So that's where we're at the moment. So if you're a seller though, we'd expect to see price corrections now in the next 12 months of at least 5 to 20 percent depending on the suburb, the type of property you have. Um, so these corrections will see your property price reduced by 50000 up to 200000 in most instances. So if a client is looking to sell in the next six months to two years, I'm telling them that they're best to go now and try and get it sold at today's prices versus selling it in six to 12 months time at a 10 to 15% discount. On the other side though, if clients are looking at holding a property long term, the Melbourne property market will weather the coronavirus storm just as it's weathered the GFC, it's weathered SARS, it's weathered uh, a number of other events uh, where the Melbourne market was tested. Uh, it's, it's weathered wars and, and it will continue the rebounds. Uh, but if you're looking to sell in the short term, you're best to go early. If you're looking to hold a property long term, then there's no need to get scared and just panic sell and put the property on the market because the property prices will come back. We were looking at a property in Reservoir recently for a client. Uh, the client ended up changing their minds because they got spooked by the coronavirus. I missed out on a property in that Oakland Estate area in 1995 for 122000 That property a couple of weeks ago sold for $1,085,000. Um, gone up about ninefold in the last 25 years and we had all those events, the GFC, uh, SARS and so many other events there that affected the property market. So if you're after a long term asset hold then don't sell but if you're looking to sell in the next one to two years my advice as a vendor's advocate is to get your property on the market sooner rather than later. Please don't hesitate to get on our website to get information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management and our group block purchases as well as you can follow me on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter and Facebook and receive regular commentary and articles about the property market and uh, economy. Cheers.